This is Radio 4x4. House music redefined. Hey, what's up? This is Mark Farina, and you're listening to Radio 4x4. This is Helena Troy, and you're listening to Radio 4x4. We're at Yoshi's in San Francisco at the album release party for Mark Farina's new EP, Geographiti. So, Mark, your new EP just came out. You want to tell us what inspired some of these tracks? Um, just uh, quirky, funky, hip hoppy, housey bits and bobs. I like to mix and match audio samples that aren't musical with funky samples with anything from like Steely Dan to A Tribe Called Quest to some trackier stuff kind of more midwest influence i'd say hence the great lakes audio like from my chicago jackie house roots that type of vibe just kind of some quirky sounds and interesting stuff maybe not your formula like chorus bridge like full vocally kind of songs that's great well some of your fans know you for your chicago jack and funky vibe but we know that you've been a san francisco transplant for some time now what about the San Francisco scene do you like the best, and what about it has changed your sound? Um, it's very organic. It's got a certain funk to it here that the tempo is very unique to San Francisco, and there's a certain mix of kind of still jacking elements, but with deep kind of sultry side uh, to it that maybe, you know, as opposed to Chicago, might be a little more jack, and San Francisco kind of has that sexier California house feel. and. In terms of different tempos, you know, and, and for being different from Chicago, Chicago is definitely a house town, but here people like kind of a mixture of anything from, you know, slow tempos, 90 beats per minute to house, you know, 125 beats per minute. So people in San Francisco, there's always been an open dance floor policy to tempo changes and different feels and that type of thing. Well, speaking of many different tempos and types of house music, your new EP is coming out on your brand new label, Great Lakes Audio. And what kind of music can we look forward to on GLA? What kind of artists and music will you be coming out with in the next few years? Well, let's see. The next release is a remix of one of the songs off the first EP. Uh, it's called That's How. And there's remixes by Sonny Federa, who's a young Australian guy, up and coming uh, in the house community. And uh, some more uh, tried and true older heads, uh, like Chuck Love did a remix, and JT Donaldson, and uh, Ken East Coast Boogeyman. So there's a little variety of kind of house flavors mixed in there. And then after that is going to be a, a Bay Area group called a Unique um, by uh, Joshua Mar- Mar- Marquez. Marquez, sorry. Uh, local guy here. Um, and they're just a great band, uh, very talented, jazzy guys. So that'll be the second release. And then after that, I'm just going to be kind of curating a lot of kind of some California sounds and then maybe going some international style as well. I don't know. It's uh, Over the years, I've been sort of passing on a lot of tunes here and there to different labels that I know like I get up and coming producers and filter them off to labels that have that sound so instead of filtering off to other people I'll keep them myself and put them out. That sounds good and speaking of new tunes you just got back from WMC was there anything you heard out there that you can't wait to spin? Um, gee, uh, well, WMC's changed over 10 years. You know what I find now, at least if everybody's up on top of things with their promo business, you get everything out before WMC. Whereas 10 years ago, it was you got everything at WMC. You'd get like a big crate of records, like a lot of which would probably be crap, unfortunately, but you'd get like a big old bag of stuff. But now a lot of the mixing and matching is almost given out um, pre-WMC. But I did get a lot of great stuff at WMC. Um, some Japanese guys, like some great tunes from them. Uh, some stuff from uh, Vernon da Costa out of Belgium, um, Lost My Dog, uh, just a lot of great stuff. Uh, some Chicago guys called uh, South of Roosevelt. Yeah, promos, I, I guess I'm fortunate being known by a lot of people. I get handed a lot of demos and sent a bunch. So, yeah, it's tons of new stuff. This is a good time of year to be playing new tunes. So I get very excited by all the new goodies I got. So, yeah, they've been flooding in before WMC, and then at WMC I got a bunch more. And even, like, during WMC, I'm, like, burning CDs madly. I ran out of CDs at blanks because people are still sending me stuff while I was at WMC, you know, for files to burn, which sometimes can take a lot of time. You spend there, like, like before, at least when you get promos, you know that you have it and you don't have to do anything. But when you get them digitally, you have to, like, organize them, print it out. It's a whole 
other part of once you get a digital promo, getting it dance floor ready. Because I, I mean, I'm not a computer person either, so I have to print it out and you know, make my CDs and stuff. So yeah, it's a lot of work. But yeah, tons of good stuff. It's well worth it. That's great. And I hear there's a little buzz on the Twitter sphere that you're starting your new Mushroom Jazz CD. Is that true? That is true. It's in the making. Um, the words have gone out to track people looking for new goodies to to get on board. So, yep, it's in the making for a fall fall in the northern hemisphere, that would be, release. Excellent. Well, we look forward to it. Thank you so much for the interview, Mark. No, oh, thank you. Thank and, you for having me. And thank you for tuning in. Ciao. Five,